This is the Melnor Aquatec Two Zone Automatic Water Timer. This will take four AA batteries inserted at the back of the timer. So the first thing you'd want to do is to set the time and the day. Just press the cursor button and set the cursor over to the set clock option. Press and hold the OK button if you want to switch the time format from 12 hours to 24 hours. To set the time, you can use the minus button and the plus button uh, pointing left and right and push the button to set the time that you would want. Once the time is set, you can press OK and then it will jump down to give you the option to select the day of the week. Once you're ready, you can hit the cursor button again and this will bring the cursor under the next option which is the water day and here you can set the time of the week of which you want the watering to occur or you can set it to water every day or every other day now continue to cursor over to the start water option Here you can select the cycle and select the zone and program the time of which you want the watering to start. Once you've selected the start time, you can now cursor over to the how long option to select the duration of the watering. If you want to program for zone 2, you can select the button on the bottom left corner and repeat the previous steps. Now that you're ready, cursor one more time over and bring the cursor right under auto. This means your timer is ready to go. Now if you want to set a rain delay, make sure the cursor is still under auto and press and hold the plus button for about 5 seconds and the word delay will appear and here you can set the rain delay. If you want to stop watering for an extended period, you can cursor one more time over and place the cursor right under off. Now if you want to fill a bucket, clean the car, or wash the dog, there's a manual watering button. All you have to do is press that button and then select your zone and then select the length of the time you wish to water then the valve will open.